Greetings, friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 11 through 12. And the quote is by William Marion Branham from the message entitled, Questions and Answers. This message was preached on October the 15th, 1961. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. Greet one another with an holy kiss. A guy asked me not long ago, said, Brother Branham, while they greeted one another with a holy kiss, they kissed on the back of the neck. Fell up on their neck and kissed them on the back of the neck. That before handshake come in. It's a greeting. That's why they, they didn't shake one another's hands. They put their arms around one another and they kissed one another on the back of the neck. Not on the lips and the face. That starts a perversion. Stay away from it. Don't never do that. Nowadays we shake hands with one another. If you want to... If you got your arm around a brother and kiss him on the neck or he kisses you on the neck, that's all right. But don't you kiss that woman. And don't you let that woman kiss you. See? That's right. You take her by the hand and say, wait a minute, sister. Just a minute here. See? Let's get this straight. And um, so now you do that. Now what I tell you a while ago when I first started? When you see any, a car coming down the road 90 miles an hour, get out of its way. That's right. When you see the first twist in anything like that, get away from it. Stay away from it. Just that's the ground you should not be on. Satan will present something to you. He'll wreck your soul and send you to hell. Stay away from it. Shun the very appearance of evil. That's right. Be a man. Be a woman. Like I'm going to take up for the women a minute. That's unusual, isn't it? <laughs> they, uh, they say, oh, the woman caused it. Oh, it was a woman's fault. If she hadn't got out of her place, well, the man wouldn't have got out of his. That's true. That, we'll say that's right. She gets out of her place. A man can't be bad unless there's a bad woman, but remember, they can't be a bad woman without being a bad man. That's right. And you who claim to be a son of God, where is your principles? If the woman is out of her place, aren't you a son of God? Aren't you the one that's a higher, stronger vessel? As the Bible says, she's weaker. Then if she's weaker, then show yourself a man of God. Tell her, say, sister, you're in the wrong. That's right. I've done it and other Christians have done it. And you'll always do it. As long as you're a Christian. But show yourself. You're a son of God. You're, you have more power over yourself than the woman does. If she is weaker, recognize her to be weaker. Understand her mistakes and things like that. And try to correct her. Say, sister... We are Christians. We should do that. Be a real man. Be a son of God. And watch the women. And there's where the great fall began at the beginning. It was Satan with Eve. That's what brought the whole downfall of the human race. Is through that. And if you're a son of God, be strong. Be a real man. If you're not that way, stay at the altar till you become that. And shun the very appearance of evil. And don't start not uh, uh, greeting. We trust that you have been blessed by God's Word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals and other spiritual message-related content that we produce, We invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds Podcast or visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and on our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, and the word worlds.com. If you feel that this ministry has been a blessing to you and you would like to support us financially to help us deliver more and better content to you in the future, you may easily do so by clicking the Consider Supporting Us link in the description of this episode or visiting our website to learn more. It's okay if you can't support us financially, but would you do us a favor? Pray for us and share this episode with others so that they might be blessed as well. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button 
so that you get notified when we publish more content like this. Thank you, and God bless you.